Hello, welcome to Carrie's Art Journal Prompts, hashtag Carrie's Prompts on Instagram. So this is where every Monday I'm going to roll the dice, I'm going to come up with some random prompts. So first of all is the main colour we're going to go with. And the number is number one. So the main colour is red. Of course you can use hues of that, so you could use pinks. Plus black and white. Hashtag carries prompts, which I can't spell, obviously. Uh, so the second one is going to be the accent colour. So you've got red as your main colour. And the next colour is three, so that's blue. So your accent colour is going to be blue. I'm going to write all these down in the description down below so um, you'll be able to refer back. So that's the accent colour. Now the, the third one are some words. And we'll roll that. Number five is a line from a book. I'm using Ibsen because he writes beautifully. And basically what I'm going to do is open a random page do that with my pencil, I'll find some words. Now, ooh, my ambition. My ambition for a fuller life. Oh, isn't that fabulous? Right, we'll go with that. Well, I love that. My ambition for a fuller life. How great is that? Especially for January, beginning of the year. Right, number four is your main focal point. What are you going to use for your main focal point? Let's roll the dice. It's number one. It's an animal or insect. So it could be your favorite animal. Could be your pet. It could be a butterfly or as I like beetles. That's great, I love that. Five is um, a tool to use. So when I say tool, I mean it could be anything that creates interest on your page. So roll that. That's number two. Use a stencil. So I'm going to do a postcard. I haven't prepared my 2021 journal just yet. So I'm going to prepare some bits and pieces to put in it. So I'm going to do a postcard. But you can do ATCs. You can do tags. Or you could do a journal page. <laughs> Obviously. This is for our journals. Mm. So let me know what you do. Um, put a picture up on Instagram with hashtag carries prompts, which I shall put down below in the description. I'd love to see what you do. So here we are. I'm going to make my piece now. I've got a piece of cardboard, an old cereal packet. I've lightly sanded that side because I want to keep the other side for writing on. That's going to be my journaling side. So I've got some papers together. These are the lovely ones from Lisa. This gorgeous paper with some flower petals in and some of her deli paper. But I can't glue it down directly because it will show through. So I'm going to put down, first of all, some book text and some other bits and pieces. Getting rid of the blank bits, I just want the text showing. So I'm tearing it down a bit. I'm going to pop that down there. This is added texture as well. And I've got this piece of paper from Flow magazine um, that a friend gave me. I'm just going to tear a bit of that off. I know it's quite pink, but pink is a shade of red, so that's okay in my book. A lot of it gets covered up anyway. It is not back the purple of the cereal packet. So now I'm just going to um, adhere it to the cereal packet with glue stick. Just lining, up, lining the edges up. At the moment, my I want my postcard to be about four by six inches. At the moment, I'm making larger than I need. Anything that I cut off later, I can reuse as tags and little tags and things like that. So I'm going to pop that down there. This magazine is a gardening catalogue from last year, and I use it as my glue book. I've got to pop that down there to cover the rest. 
and that will be my, will be my blue accent. At the moment it looks like a lot of blue, but once I've finished there will only be a little bit of blue showing. And it's actually um, a ghost print from Jelly Plate Printing. And in fact, it's a packet from a kitchen towel. <laughs> I do like using all sorts of strange things for my art. So that fills that space nicely. I'm really pleased with that. And now I can lay the actual colours that I want to lay down on top now. So I'm going to start with a bit of Lisa's deli paper. This is Lisa from Serious Hacker. I can link her her channel down below. She actually dyes this deli paper, and it's beautiful, and I love it so much. It's gorgeous. I'm going to pop that there, I think. I'm surprised how well it works because when I first got it, I thought that's not going to glue down very well, but it does. It glues down beautifully, and it's got a lovely texture. And I like its translucency, which you can see here, which is why I had to put paper down. So I didn't want the cereal packet to be showing through. I wanted something else. So I'm going to pop that up there. So now we're getting more red than blue, but we still want to cover up some more of that blue. This also was sent to me by Lisa. This is some paper with some gorgeous flower petals in. And of course they're red, so that's perfect. So I'm going to use some of that. Beautiful paper, I love it. It's got a lovely feel to it. So that's going to go there. I'm going to cover up some of that blue. Well, a lot of that blue, just have a little bit showing through. And I'm just trying to decide exactly how, what that shape I want to look like, because it matters. <laughs> I think something like that is what I'm going to go for. So I need to be careful, there's a slight tear in it there, I don't want to rip it, so I'm being careful. Gonna pop it on like that. Lovely, lovely. And now the blue is hardly evident. Yes, it is just an accent, and the red is more a dominant colour now. So now I've got some of my collage papers. Um, I'll link down below. If you've not seen me do how, how I do my collage papers, I'll link down below to show you. And I do these in advance. I do them when I can't really think what to do, but they're so handy because it means I've got some ready painted papers that have already been sewn. I need some scissors to tear through, to cut through the sewing. Yes, so they're, they're just ready to go and it's just so convenient. And also they're quite pretty. So I'm going to add that to it. It's got some lovely red on there. It's actually more a magenta, but that's okay. I'm going to have it not there, I'm going to have it a bit further, that's it, in the middle like that. Lovely. So I'm just going to tear off a little bit there that I don't want. Like that. That's it. That's great. So I'm going to glue that down. Yes, I can recommend making some collage papers. You know, you, when you get those moments when you think, I want to do some art, but I don't know what I want to do. I do collage papers in those moments. Oh, and I also make tags in those moments. Let me know what you do in those moments. Give me some ideas. I find it kind of soothing and restful to do those. Now you can see the blue really is a tiny little accent. Currently it's in the dead centre of the postcard, uh, of the cardboard, but once I select my area it won't be. Now I'm going to add a little bit of stenciling, because stenciling was on the list. So I've got this stencil, I can't remember where I got it from. 
but I really like it. It's like faux accountancy. So you've got a little splash on. It's got faux text on it. And I'm just going to go, I'm going to use some black. So I'm getting uh, my acrylic paints out. And actually it isn't really black, it's Payne's grey, but to me it looks almost black, especially when applied thickly. So I've got a sponge, and I've got a piece of paper to dab it off on. I don't want it to be too wet, and the paper takes away some of the moisture. It also um, flattens it out, so I don't get lumpy bits of dark. So I'm just dabbing through the stencil. I don't want to do the entire stencil, I'm just going to do little bits. Having a difficult time getting it to go through, look. I like the splashy bit at the bottom there. I've got a bit more paint on there now. Add a bit more. Yes, you don't want too much paint and you don't want too little. Getting the balance right is difficult, isn't it? Yes, it's not very often I use commercial stencils, but this one I really love. I have some I really do like. Right, let's see what that looks like now. Oh, that's good. That's better than I thought it was. I'm going to do a little bit up here as well. And I think I'll just do the texty bit up there. That's great. So now... I need to select an area that I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to put this paint, put the paints away. Um, so yes, I've got the I've got this piece of card covered, but obviously that's too large. I want it to be more postcard sized, and I want to be able to select an area that is pleasing to the eye. So what I actually go and do, probably that sort of area, I'm thinking. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to quickly put together some pieces of cardboard as a frame, so I can select the area I really want. So bear with, I'm going to come back with the square already made. Here we are. So I say square, it's 13 inches by, I think it was nine. I'm not quite, I can't, I can't remember. So I'm having a look and I think that is the area I want. The blue is off center now, which is much more pleasing to the eye. That's great, I'm going to use that. So I'm just going to get a pencil, I'm going to mark the corners and then I can cut it with my paper trimmer. Lovely. And all the bits are cut off, as I say, I can reuse in other things. So nothing is wasted. I use the paper cutter because I'm terrible at cutting straight lines. I could draw a straight line, but I can't cut one for some reason. There. Lovely. I love that. Look at that. So nice. Right, so I'm going to round off the corners now. I do that because quite often when I put them in a journal page, I'll put them in a pocket and if the corners are rounded, it slides easier in and out. That's nice. Now, my focal point is going to be one of my birds. So I'm going to pop that on and I've also got the words. I love those words. I'm going to have a piece of paper and I'm using the cream because I don't want stark white. I'm just going to draw a pencil line. So that my writing doesn't go all over the place, which it would do otherwise. My ambition for a fuller life. I really like that. I'm just going to rub out the uh, ruler lines. That's, yes, that's going to be good. I'm being careful over the inked bit in case there's any wet ink. Luckily, it's okay. I just need to cut that out and glue that down now. So I've cut it out, just trimming off that bit off the side. And now I'm going to try it down. Now that's okay, but for some reason it's not pleasing to the eye. It doesn't quite fit on that way. It doesn't look right anyway. So what I've decided to do is to chop it down. And then that appeals to me a little bit more. It looks better broken up like that. My ambition for a fuller life. I really like that. 
So I think what I'm going to do now is some experimenting with placings. It's worth doing that actually before you decide on gluing things down. See, I kind of like that experiment, quite like that. But then there's a, a quiet air at the top right hand corner that needs covering up anyway. So experimenting with it like that. Nah, that's not doing it for me. I think like this is the plan. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just draw around the edges of these bits of paper. I've got these lovely acrylic pens. I'm just going to draw some blue around the edge using my accent colour blue, which stands out well against the red. Just going carefully around the edges. Well, that's a bit too thin. I think I need to go over that again. That's better. I want. I don't want to do it perfectly. I want it to be a bit um, uneven in places anyway for added texture. And now the other one. Pop that there. Oops. Hardly anything there. Let's try that again. That's better. I did consider doing gold or something, but I think the blue suits this much better. And what I don't show you, but I draw around the edges of the postcard with just a very thin line of that blue as well. I'm adding a bit more emphasis to the outline on the first lot. And now I can glue them down. Let me know down below if you like the idea of the weekly prompts. I would like to know if you have any comments or criticisms. I can take it, don't worry. Um, it'd be interesting to know what you think. And if need be, I can make changes. So far, I think it's quite good fun. <laughs> it might get more difficult in time, though, with some of the rolls of the dice. Rolls of the dice might not be so um, beneficial. I mean, we got those words perfectly this time. So that's those. Now I'm going to put the bird down. I was going to glue it the entire thing down, but then I had a change of heart. I decided what I was going to do was, I bet you can't guess. Bet you can't guess. Yeah, you're right. I'm getting the eyelets out. <laughs> what I'm actually going to do is put an eyelet through his eye and attach him that way. So he can be a movable bird. There, that'd be nice. Bodge a hole. I'm picking out a beautiful bright red eyelet for the eye. It stands out well against the colour of the bird and also fits the colour theme that we're going with. So here it is. So go for it. Make an ATC, make a tag, make a postcard or do a full journal page. Now the uh, prompts can be used several times over the week. Um, I can perhaps, once I've got the channel made, I can actually do a two-page spread, I think. Um, I tend to do about two or three journal entries a week. I don't tend to do one every day. I don't really have the time for that. I can write on the back of the postcard all my ambitions. I hope you have a go. Do let me know. As I say, use that hashtag, hashtag carries prompts, and put them on Instagram so I can see them. I'd love to see what you do. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.